Coming to you live from New York, this is Optimal Play, I'm Brandon, and it is late, it is almost midnight as I'm recording this, it is a hot evening in LA, it's been hot in a lot of the US and world, uh, but it's definitely hitting us this week, and uh, so I don't feel like sleeping, this seems like as good a time as any to, to start a little uh, video series that I've been thinking about for a little while, which is to play through Under Falling Skies, uh, which came with a campaign that I have not touched. Uh, if you're unfamiliar, I'm not going to teach you how to play it in this video. Uh, there's tons of good learn play videos on YouTube. Uh, but it is a single player game that is essentially like um, bo the board game version of Space Invaders meets XCOM. Like you, you uh, are excavating your base so you can use the different rooms in your base. That feels very XCOM, but you're using it to fend off these uh, ships that just plummet down towards your base dealing damage when they reach the city. Uh, so, so that would be the, the Space Invaders half. Um, super cool game. I've just played it a couple times on the base level, and before I start the campaign, I want to try a game or two at threat level one. And what that is, is it's where you randomly choose one of these four segments. These are, I don't want to mess with that. I've very carefully arranged these on camera. Um, but uh, we've randomly chosen one to flip over to its increased threat side, which is why you can kind of see some, uh, some pink decals here. Uh, so that's the difficult section of, of our sky tonight. Uh, so that, that makes our difficulty threat level one. I'm kind of trying to figure out what threat level I want to play the campaign at. I guess nothing is stopping me from uh, adjusting it as I go in the campaign. The campaign rules are, are, are real light, but... I, I just thought, thought I, I would try this out, get, get my bearings a little bit um, before I jump into the campaign, which, which my understanding is has all sorts of different scenarios and things that make the game um, more complicated and more challenging. So uh, I, I'm, thinking, I'm thinking two, two videos probably before I dive into the campaign, um, one in New York and one in Washington, D.C., uh, that just leaves one other kind of um, pre-campaign base, which is Roswell. Uh, cool location, but there's no ability or anything on there. Uh, so, so I don't think that I am going to bore you with it. Um, so with that, I'm, I'm all set up. I've got my dice here, uh, robots here, although the ability on New York is you can only have one robot and the value of its room is increased by one. So I'm actually going to set one of these aside. Let me get that out of the way. Uh, set one of these aside with the other uh, lesser used components. Have one robot ready. Uh, I've only played one or two other games using the robot, so I'm still getting the hang of like how to ideally use them, but I'm finding that mostly they're really good at generating energy. Just throw one in an energy room and you're pretty much set for the rest of the game. Uh, so, so we'll see how that goes. But um, before I start, if you enjoy playthroughs, whether they're solo games or uh, most of the videos on our channel are actually me inviting friends on to play games with me, uh, if you enjoy this or, or other games, um, the only way to support Optimal Play is to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Uh, it doesn't cost you anything. We don't have a Patreon. Uh, so, so yeah, helping boost us in the YouTube algorithm is, is the one and only way to help Optimal Play grow. So I'd appreciate it if you did click those buttons. Uh, with that, I am going to roll some dice. Make some decisions. Um, okay, we have all real low numbers. Um, one through three. So the uh, the thing about the New York base that I notice immediately is that the excavator starts all the way up here where the rightmost column, there's literally nothing you can do in the first round other than an anti-air gun. Um, and then... The only jet fighters that we have are very expensive energy-wise, so I kind of think we're going to be trying to excavate and get, gain some energy as kind of our goals for this round. Uh, so I'm thinking I will throw this three right here in this energy room. This uh, column three ship is going to move there. It lands on a one. I don't know if we're going to decide to spend energy attacking that. But, uh, but we'll see. We'll, we'll decide. Um, and then I think I will just do finish this room. Five energy out of this double room, it seems decent. So I'll put a two here. Move these down. And then uh, this is my favorite thing about the, the, dice, the, the dice manipulation, the dice rolling in this game. 
It's got these gray dice and these white dice. Every time you roll one of the white dice, you have to, or sorry, every time you place one of them to do their action, you have to re-roll all the rest of your dice, which is a really interesting little um, way of thinking about your, your luck and your odds because you're, you're rolling, you're getting two white dice uh, in your initial roll each round, but you're only ever going to use one of those two because the other one would be re-rolled. And uh, yeah, so the order that you use these dice um, is another, is a, a really important factor. Uh, so I've placed that too, I'm going to re-roll the rest. It's a couple sixes now, okay, so this is, uh, this is bigger all of a sudden. I think I like this six, one of these sixes for a big excavation. I can place it here to excavate six spaces this round, moving this ship one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, that's a nice little safe spot between the mothership symbols for that to land on, so feeling great about that. Um, I guess, hmm, I'm like, I, I guess I will spend some energy to knock out that sh uh, I don't, I don't think I want to. Um, I could put like the six here, or even the two, spend three energy and essentially blow up that one ship, but it's nowhere near my base. That just doesn't feel like it's worth the energy, and I'm not seeing a way to put any other ships onto attack spaces, so I'm gonna put the two over here on the anti-air gun. That subtracts one from the amount that the ship will move, it's just gonna move one space, and that re-rolls this last die. I'm kinda looking for a lower number. Two seems great. I'll throw that on this anti-air also, so this moves one space. I think that that was a fine first round. That just seems to be the the way New York works based on this base is it's, you have like a setup round where you just don't want the ships to get that close to you while you kind of have to throw some dice away while you excavate. So uh, let's resolve this. I'm gonna spend one energy to excavate down to the six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then I have five energy coming from this energy double size room. And any air guns don't do anything. That's it. That's the round. I am just going to move this mothership down a space. A couple things happen. Uh, these two ships that had only moved one are just going to end up back on the mothership. And it passed this icon here to spawn one additional white ship. And then these will distribute at these spawn points. And we're good to go for another round. Now we have options. Now we can start researching. Now we could use just one die to get energy. We can get a robot. So this is what, I'm realizing that that uh, damage token was in the wrong spot to start. So, wow, still a lot of ones and twos, but um, a two is enough to start some research. Just a, just a little bit of research. Um, here, here's, I think, what I want to do. I'm going to try to excavate even further. I would like another, like, basic research room. Um, so let me go five here. One, two, three, four, five is where we'll be excavating to. It's going to move down this column. One, two, three, four, five, and re-roll the rest of the dice. Okay, three, four, five, five. That's, um, that's a good little spread. Let's see. So the excavation is done. We're, we're spending one energy on that. We are probably going to want to try to shoot some ships down here. I'm loving what I see with a three over here on the left. Because that would get this ship, it would, have, it would be at a six, actually, which is not easy. And get the white ship down to this two attack spot, which... Pretty solid, at least killing the, the white one, it doesn't respawn, which always feels good. But I'm wondering, should I, since the, my three, if I want to place it there, that is a white die, I would have to reroll the rest. Do I want to place any others? Um, the, hmm, no, no, I'm going to place, I'm going to go ahead and place this. Uh, I... Don't think I'm going to want to turn it into a robot. I'm just going to place it on this empty uh, ground space. Move these three. I also I did not want to anti-air that and reduce it by one. That would uh, 
That would really fuck me up uh, you know, land, landing on a mothership space. So, um, that's that. I'm going to reroll the rest of the dice. Whoa, 665. Six, well, six can get me a really big attack. It's going to cost some energy, but I think I will go for it. Because if I go one, two, three, four, five, six, this one also lands on attack space, and I'll be blowing up ships six and less. So that's a great one. Uh, here, a five in like this energy room would move the ship down to that attack space, which also seems great. I guess though, to complete using this energy room, I am going to need to place this die there. It doesn't get that ship to an ideal spot, but I guess you can't win them all. So I'm gonna put this six here, move this one six spaces. Okay, then when we go to resolve this, we're gonna blow up a lot of ships. Uh, the, let's see, this one can just come off. That was, that did nothing. Uh, we'll spend one energy to excavate five spaces. Great. And then let's just go ahead and spend three energy to fire the, uh, fire off the jet fighters at six strength. So we'll defeat that white ship, this red ship, this red ship, and this red ship. Feeling great about that. Okay. The last thing is I had 11 energy. Uh, most of that goes to waste, but I do uh, fill up my energy from two to eight. So I'm very rich on energy. Uh, the spawns are straightforward as the mothership comes down. Uh, it hits this minus two excavator. So the excavator actually has to back up two spaces. So that, that double attack room is not yet available, but I think, I think that'll be okay. And we're gonna go to the next round. Whoa, some big numbers. Three and five on the white dice, and then four, five, six on the gray. Starting to look at making some research progress now. I'm seeing that a four would get this ship to an attackable space, and a five would get this ship, well, to an attackable space, but it's a seven, so never mind. That really can't be helped until I get this double attack room open. So I'm going to go ahead and let's see. I said I liked the four here. We can, um, we can drop a four in research here, I think. One, two, three, four. That'll cost an energy, but if I can also get even just a low number in one other research room, then I can get pretty, pretty decently high up this research track. In fact, I think I'll go ahead and drop a gray, gray? Yeah, a gray five here. So this one will move five spaces. And now I have like, I have five to get to here and four to get to there. That feels like some, some solid research progress. I do want to excavate. Let me, hmm. All right, I guess, I guess here's what I'll do. Hmm. Um, so I'm afraid, huh, I'm trying to balance a few things here. I would like to get an attack in. I've got uh, a die on a four here. And if I put like the five over here, then I also get that die onto, or get that ship onto a four. So this jet fighter would destroy it. But then I have to re-roll these other dice and I don't know what they will be. I guess I'm gonna do it. I will put a five here. Moving this column down five spaces. And I gotta re-roll the other dice. Uh, we've got a three and a one. Much lower numbers we're working with here now. Well, I was thinking about installing a robot, but I guess that's not the numbers for that. Um, let's see. 
The three is sure not great for excavation. I think I just want to place the one and re-roll. Um, you know, it doesn't feel good, but I think all the excavating I'm doing this round might be one space of it to there. Moving this down, and that gets that ship onto an attack space. So I am praying that this is big enough. No, no, I, I was, oh, okay. So I guess I'm just hoping for a big number here to either excavate instead of using this one or, or uh, install a robot. Really, yeah, I want like a, a five would be perfect if we put the ship on the, the three. Uh, a six, I'll take it. So that is definitely going in this column. I don't think I need it to be a jet fighter because I already have a five on this jet fighter. So why don't I, I'm gonna install that robot. Get some energy going. Um, right, right. Mm. Uh, I actually think I want to excavate. I think that I have lots of time. I just want to get this uh, get this base dug out so I can do the cool stuff. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna place it here in this column. This one, this ship will move down six spaces. And now as I resolve, I can spend one energy. I, I'm just gonna discard this die, not using it. I can spend one energy to excavate to here. Then the uh, research. So a five research, this is gonna cost an energy to use this room. It's gonna move two, three, four, five. Another energy to research here, that's four. And that just leaves us with jet fighters. This five in a minus one room is going to attack for four. So we're gonna destroy one, two, three ships. I feel great about that. And I'm wondering uh, who is messaging me after midnight. Okay. All right, so the mothership's gonna move down. Spawning a white ship, and let's distribute these. Looks like it'll go something like this. Honestly, to have the mothership only down three rows and have any progress on research uh, makes me feel like I'm doing pretty well. A lot of the time it's even, it takes longer than this for me to get started on, on that research track. So, here we go. Uh, the white dice are both fours, and then some gray fives and, or five and twos. Mm. A four is pretty good excavation here. But, it does not help me destroy that ship. Alright, you know what, I think my goal this turn is going to be to install a robot. I'm... I want to install a robot using this one that won't decrease its value. It just, it costs more energy, so I'm going to also need to get energy from these rooms. Which leaves me not researching this turn, but... I'm okay with that. So I'm going to put this gray five in the robot room. One, two, three, four, five. This slides over. Um, I'm going to switch up the order that I do that. Reverse that really quick. I'm going to put a two in this column first so that that, that row will move first getting that onto a, uh, a four. Then I'll put a five on the robot room. That shit moves over. Now I think I can deal with that. Okay, then, uh, I'm thinking ex excavation in this column looks fine, like with a four. I put a four here. We're gonna move this ship down. That lands, in case we get end up attacking, that lands on a three. This is just on a blank. It is getting a little close to New York, uh, but that's a white dice, I'm gonna reroll the other two. Uh, four and a five. So, it's pretty similar to what my options already were. I've got ships on a four, a three, 
So I could drop this five on the jet fighter and it would attack for four, taking out those two ships. That seems pretty good. And a five is not a great number to move the ship in that column, but it's not gonna, it's not gonna land on a mothership space or anything. So I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna put the five here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Uh, it is a little scary how these ships are consolidating a little bit. You don't like to see that. Um, okay, and then, but then this four is fine to throw in this energy room, which was the plan. One. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm gonna, again, reverse that order. I'll place that white die last. So I'm just slightly retconning that order. Perfect. We've done it. Okay. So... I'm going to get this excavation done, spending all my energy first. Uh, spending two energy to install a robot at five. So this five, um, now that I've excav excavated, I can throw this five into this energy room with no modifier. I uh, can't use it this turn, but then New York says you can only have one robot but the value of its room is raised by one, which means next turn it's gonna generate six energy, then five, then four. Again, I think I'm probably set for the game now. That was, that was the upfront strategy, so that feels great. Uh, meanwhile, these two dice will generate me six energy right now, putting me at full, and I'll use jet fighters at four, destroying a white ship and this red ship. Okay, I could put that in the left or right column. Um, I don't have strong feelings either way. Let's go to the right where there's not all those mothership icons near the top. And then speaking of the mothership, it'll move down. Okay, now it's been a couple turns since I made any progress on the research track. That's, I need to refocus on that. Um, but the, the base is taking no damage, even though there's some ships nearby. I've got it almost all the way dug out. I have a robot installed generating energy. I'm feeling good about this spot, so let's roll. A one, two, three, three, four. Hmm. Okay. So the let's see, this would definitely be a good round to destroy some ships. <laughs> I've got energy is kind of no object. So I think I definitely want to put a two in this column, which will line up two ships on attack points. So let me throw this gray two. Um, like I said, kind of energy is no object. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it in this research room that'll cost an energy, but make a little bit of research progress and move these down to onto a six and a four. So I'd like to attack for at least six. What's the best way to do that? I could use this double room because the a three and a four would be perfect and it would move those ships down to great spots to attack them. The question is, well, then I'm just rolling to kind of see what I can research with. Um, yeah, I'm okay. I'm okay with this, I think. So why don't I put down this four here, this three here, and that's gonna re-roll these dice. That lined up an attack. A two and a one. Not what I had in mind. Um, down here I'm researching for three, so honestly the one is like fine to research with. Oh, but that lands on a mothership icon. I want to avoid that at all costs. So I can throw the two there. Um, I don't see why not. Throw a two right here, move the ship two. That leaves me with a one on the left. Um, there's not even any ships in that column, so it literally does not matter what I do with this. So, I don't know. More jet fighters, why not? Okay. A little bit of a rough round, I feel like, but I think we're destroying some ships. This will be, this will be okay. Uh, we can discard this. Uh, let's spend some of our energy. I'm going to spend one to research for, oops, I'll resolve this die first. Researching for two, it'll just move up this one. But then I can research for three, moving up another space. Uh, these two are gonna spend an energy. 
Uh, send fighter jets for seven, so dead, 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 dead. You'd love to see that. And that just leaves our robot. Do I even want to trigger it, considering it would waste some energy? I might not. I can only, it would generate six energy and I can only gain three. Yeah, I'm just going to leave it alone. And I think I have enough energy to kind of fuel myself next turn without using it. Maybe this is getting a little greedy when I should just be using my robot, but this is the kind of strategy I'm kind of trying to uh, play right now to figure out a little bit better. So I'm going to move this mothership spawning a white ship. And let's get on to the next round. We've got a white five and a two, a gray one, six, four. Um, I would like to excavate the rest of this bottom floor so that I have access to this giant research room because I think this is key to getting across the finish line. In fact, it's mandatory to get this 11. So I know I'm gonna need that. Um, hmm. I don't love any of those numbers for that slot, for that excavation though. Because a four puts this right column on a mothership space. Definitely not ideal. Um, why don't I use some of these big numbers for some research? Uh, if I put a six here, I will take damage from this red ship, but it can research the seven. So as long as I get a little bit more research going, that's very strong. Oh, I can also do it here for less energy uh, and not take the damage. That seems better. So that'll be my plan. The reason I'm not doing it quite yet is because I can see six would move the ship over to the right and I don't really want three triggers when I uh, activate that column. So, hmm. But putting a four in the middle column will move the white ship to the left, meaning it would activate over there. Ha! <laughs> what would it do? One, two, three, four, five, six. It would just be in a spot that would be very close to damaging me. Is there a better way here? I could... Man, I could do a five here, but then I have to re-roll because it's white. Damn, this is tough. This is tough. Why don't I start somewhere else then? I'm going to take this... <sighs> Boy, I am so stumped here. I guess, what, I, guess I need the reroll. That's, that's, I think, what this comes to, is I, I'm going to need the reroll. So I'm going to put this five in this research room, and we're going to see what happens from there. I'm going to take, wait, right? Yeah. I'm going to hope to roll another six to get past that seven down here. And if I don't, then I'll figure something else out. Uh, so we're gonna go one, two, three. This ship reaches New York, damages me. And then five here. This is not a seven, it's attackable. And I have to reroll these. Okay. A five, oh, two ones and a two. That is not a six. So maybe I just wanna spend the two as uh, soon as possible for one more reroll. I'm thinking it's maybe it's a little optimistic, but this two here would move this ship onto an attack point and could make some research progress if we get through that seven somewhere else. No, there's nowhere else to get through that seven. I need to use that plus one slot. Never mind. For whatever reason, this has become the most brain-bending round. Um, okay. What's, what's just even safe to do? 
the five could go on the right without landing on a my safe i guess i mean mainly like without landing on motherships like if the five can't go on the left it could go on the right it could go in this leftmost column that's and it would land on an attack point also but i just don't love using that for anything but research if we can avoid it all right all right i guess here's what we do uh I need to just move. I need to. I need to use this white die for a reroll. Uh, there's nothing in this left column that I care about, so I'm gonna just drop it in the left column. It's gonna move the ship down onto an attack point. In case that matters, I'm gonna reroll the rest of the dice. Three, three, four. That's not the six I was looking for. Okay. Um, a three is great for excavation, though. A. Yeah, so a three can go here. Let me just use this column first so that I don't move over and activate that ship an extra time. Um, you know, this is what I could actually do. I could do a three in that column. Um, I don't have anywhere good to put it, so I'm just gonna put it in this energy room. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. Actually, no, no, I'll put it in this attack room, because maybe I will think this through and decide to attack. But, uh, so now I'm moving this ship down by three. Because now my thinking is, if I excavate for three, this moves down onto this arrow, and it can't move left. Keeps it in its own row. I like that. That leaves me with a four for the left column. I can see that it's safe, but it's not that helpful I guess I could put it here. We, I can see that I'm generating tons of energy this turn, so spend three energy to knock out like one ship. I guess I'll do it. One, two, three, four. Okay, that's about the most unhappy that I've been with around this game. Uh, so let's see what we can make of this. Uh, we can just discard this die, discard this die. Uh, we're researching for five here, spending energy, getting up two steps. I'm going to excavate, spending energy, getting that part of the base all dug out. And then I have exactly three energy to spend on an attack. All that that does is destroy this one ship, um, because this one's on a seven. Not, not the greatest, but it's going to be fine, because now this robot can generate six energy and tick down to a four. That was six because it was a five, but the New York ability increases it by one. So, all right, Mothership moves down. Uh, it pushes the excavator back one, but I saw that and that's why I made sure to go an extra space so we don't have to care about that. Let's go. We have no more than uh, four more rounds to get up this research track. So researching is getting important. And these are some big dice. We can get across that seven. Let's do it. Uh, I'm gonna, one, two, three, four, five, six. I just wish that if I put a six there, it would land on an attack space, but, oh, I need to uh, distribute or spawn some chips. There we go. I am gonna go straight for it. I'm gonna put this six here, and that's gonna, that seven will be taken care of on the research track. Then, next is a one and a six. Um, hmm. So I'm looking here, like I could get over that six by putting a five in this plus one research slot. And then I w would just need some other anything in this column to get over that one. That feels all right. So I'll put this five here, and that's gonna take this white ship down onto an attack point. So I'm gonna, I'll see if I get a, if I'm able to line up an attack here. Uh, but that was a white die, so I'm gonna reroll the rest. Well, I said I needed a one, I got a one. I will probably, yeah, go ahead and throw that over in this research room. And then where am I at on energy? I'm kind of spending a lot of it. So it's an option to put energy 
or to put the five like here to generate more energy, or I could put it on the attack space to take out this white die. I think that's what I need to do, or this white ship rather. Yeah, yeah, preventing a damage seems worth it. So I'm gonna put this five here, move this five spaces. Um, I clearly forgot when I placed this five to move the red ship that was up, queued up up here, huh? So one, two, three, four, five. There we go. And I'm rerolling this gray die. It's got to go in the right column. It's a three. And that's fine. Um, the only thing that it can that can put it to use is it can generate a little bit of energy. We'll take it. I think that that went uh, better better than last round, and and we're getting over the some of the biggest humps on the research track. So. I like this. Uh, I'm going to start there. Uh, spending an energy to resolve the 6 plus 1 research, getting past the 7. Uh, then I've got an energy and a 1. And an energy, or 2 energy, for this 5 plus 1. So that gets over the 6. Uh, oh no! Uh, I guess I'll still do it. Definitely a major miscalculation that I see the mothership is going to back me up on the research track here, and it's gonna I'm gonna lose that six progress. That's painful. But I don't know what else I should have done. Probably just not bothered <laughs> to get that six, but it's okay, it's okay. Uh, the Five here in the jet fighters will attack for four. It does destroy it, a white ship. We'll always take that. And then this three here, or uh, yeah, the, the robot will generate five energy and tick down to a three. That puts me at seven. So uh, this the two energy generated by this room. One is one is useful. We'll take that. We'll move the mothership. It's never a good sign when you don't have to do any ship respawning because they're all still on the board. Uh, that's that's what's getting scary here, but we'll see how this round goes. We've got three five five and a white one six. Okay, so research wise, it's not the worst time to just do a giant research blast in this left room. I could, with a um, I could use a white one here to line up an attack. Yeah, I'm starting to see a little bit of a plan here. Um, I just don't know how I can get the jet fighters out without blowing a lot of my, without taking a lot of damage to my base. Here's what I think I'll do. I want to put this three here that moves this ship onto an attack point. I'm. I would love another three, actually, to attack for six and have this ship down here. So I think I'll wait till I reroll before I place anything in the other half of that jet fighter room. So I guess I'll go ahead and set up this research. One space potentially moves this here where it can get attacked. And then if I get a big number on the left, then that plus the three can make a lot of research progress. So I'll reroll these dice since I spent a wait. Uh, that's a pretty big number on the left. This five would mean I'm researching for nine, which could get me up four spaces on the research track. It seems really solid. This ship moves one, two, three, four, five, just shy of damaging the base so it wouldn't damage the base and then respawn until the next turn. So uh, I think I think that turned out great. That just leaves me with some ones. Uh, a one in the middle column would be a mothership space, which feels pretty disastrous right now. I don't want to lose a round. So I think I've got to drop a one in the... Uh, a one here in the anti-air to make it a zero and to give me a re-roll of this last die. Hoping for, honestly, anything higher than one <laughs> so that I can get a good attack out of this jet fighter. And it's a one. Well, shit. I think I'm going to do it anyway. It will at least destroy this ship, but it didn't destroy this one, uh, which was kind of the whole point of a lot of my moves. So, uh, definitely do, you do not always get what you want in this game. <laughs> but let's see, I can discard a, couple, a die that's not going to do anything. 
Uh, attacking for four is just gonna blow up this red ship. And researching, uh, that attack by the way was one energy. And then four energy to research for nine here. One, two, three, four, and nine. And we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Seems pretty good. And then we just need a, basically a four and then an 11 and we can win next round. That should definitely be the focus of next round. Just try to end this. I've got a couple rounds to go, but uh, I'm gonna be taking some damage. So I would like to end this. Uh, I'll go ahead and use the robot to generate four energy. One, two, three, four. Take it down to a two. Start my new round. Uh, pretty mixed bag here. A white one and three, a gray five, four, one. So what's my plan here? Oh, I needed to move the mothership. Spawn this ship. Okay. So my plan here. Uh, there's nothing that I can do to avoid taking damage in these left two columns, which means it's, it's kind of freeing. I can kind of put anything there that I want. So I, I definitely want to be researching for at least 11 there, and I think that that's where I start, is making sure that that happens. Yes. Yeah, so I'm gonna put this uh, five here. This ship will move down and damage my base. I'm gonna put a four here. This ship will move in and damage my base. I can only safely take two more damage, but I think I'm gonna win this turn. So that's going to research for 12, which gets us over the 11 hump for the win. I just have to research for four to get up to it which means I can drop this three on the plus one research, move this ship three, and I think I'm in pretty good shape as I reroll these dice, a six and a five. Uh, well, I don't wanna move the mother ship. Wow, this, this, is a pretty, this is a pretty terrible roll right now because I can't avoid damage here, but the, well, this, yeah, because I would like to play the five to reroll, but the five in this column would move the mothership. You know what? If I'm gonna win this turn, I guess I don't care. And in the name of just like trying to like save lives, I'm gonna do <laughs> I'm gonna do what, what minimizes damage to the base. And so I'm going to put this five. You know what, just in case I like overlooked anything on the research, I'll put it in the research room. So this ship's gonna move one, two, three, four, five onto a mothership icon which moves this down two spaces away from ending the game, which is very scary. The benefit is that this uh, damage the base symbol only happens in the mothership phase, not if you move it down any other time. And so I actually kind of dodge a bullet there at least. And then I'm gonna reroll this die, hoping for something small. That is small, that is absolutely small. I'll just put it here, move that ship one. I think I'm just one resolution phase away from victory. So uh, spending two energy to research for four with this die gets me to here and then spending four energy to research for five, nine, 12, gets me to the top. All right, we did it. Uh, that, was, that was fun, it was a, it was a good uh, it was a good close game. You, you, like it, you like a game that you win with a turn or two to go. Uh, and really, I don't know if I could have, like even though I had two rounds left based on the mothership, uh, the, well, let me think, it was about to move no, my next round was my last round, whether it was base damage from all these ships down here or whether it was from the mothership. So, uh, yeah, that was scary. Uh, I feel like one threat level is about the right difficulty for my skill level. Uh, so I think I will be uh, back soon to try the Washington DC base, and then I'm gonna launch into the campaign. So uh, again, if you enjoyed this, I'd appreciate if you would uh, like, subscribe, comment, all those things that, that help us grow on YouTube. Uh, that's, that's how you can support the channel. Uh, and and let, me know, uh, let me know how you like Under Falling Skies. Uh, is it a game that you've, you've uh, bought and left on your shelf for a very long time, like I did until recently? Is it a game that you've, you've played a lot? It's a right, like borderline travel size, so actually I have some September travel. I could see, uh, I, I could see getting this um, in a suitcase playing it on the road some. So uh, excited for all that. I hope that you are too. I will see you soon for the Washington DC game. Till then, be optimal.